Just make no bones about it. World War III, in essence, has already begun. People were looking for large masses of troops to invade borders, and it'd be one nation at odds with the other. But what it has really manifested to be is the elites and the ruling class have waged war against the peasants. A two-tier system is being formed in the U.S. and westernized culture is one of the few experiments that had a middle class that prevented what was happening right now, but that's quickly being eroded. The enemy's not only at the gates, the enemy's all around, the enemy's within, within the church, within our schools, within our law enforcement, everywhere. This new socialist party which existed just short of a hundred years ago in different forms has been reformed. They are attacking faith, family, fundamental liberties of not only the people in the Western world, but globally already. Those in Australia are not being covered by the media here, are being imprisoned. And that's what lockdown is. That's a prison term. That is not a term of liberty or civility. That is a prison term. They're being imprisoned in their homes, and if they refuse, many are being jailed, fined. Now they're being beaten publicly for not submitting and obeying to an experimental medical procedure. These soldiers have, have been and are being positioned in various forms. They're being readily and financially supplied by these people. They are headed by some self-appointed Caesars or Czars or those that think themselves God in some form. Be they be a big tech tyrant and billionaire or just a puppet in a non-elected position telling people that they're too dumb to know what's good for them and they just need to submit and obey. They count on the fact that they have brainwashed the masses, successfully divided all people around the world into small manageable groups through their propaganda. They continue to cause irrational fear that abandons all logic, reason, and faculty. And they count on the loyalty of the people to let them think and decide for them what is best. And these are things that so far have been carried out quite effectively. This, this while, this deceitful strategy to uh, wage war in a new form. In a, in a Trojan horse silent invasion is thus far proven to be quite effective. They want this two-tier system. They want people just to yield and obey, even if it's contrary to the God-given natural rights that all of humanity is granted by God. And... So many, even believers, continue just to stick their head in the sand and think that ignorance is bliss. This ignorance is what they have counted on, this unwillingness for the soldiers of truth, the defenders of God's truth, family values, Christian and just basic human rights. They count on people just to yield to get along to go along as they continue to openly mock this ignorance these are the type of people that count on the fact that people are so loyal to them that if they spit in their face and tell them that it's raining many will actually believe what they say regardless of how much they contradict regardless of the fact that you have an ex-president stated on CNN as being 
among a group of sophisticated and well-informed people can gather in mass and have a, you know their common perverted elite parties while they tell you you can't go to work you can't go to church you can't go check on grandma just put your face covering on and shut your mouth that's what they count on because people refuse to open their eyes they refuse to listen with their ears and see what's really going on I don't know what it's going to take to wake many people up to the fact that it's not that we're looking for a war to come the war is here the soldiers are here. The deceivers are here. Those that hate you have arrived. And it's time to pull your head out of the sand. It's time to pull your blinders off. And no longer walk as fools, the unwise. But to be circumspect. To look around. To see things for what they are and proceed accordingly based on what they really are. These not even cunningly devised fables that are being forced and, and pushed should be spewed out for the nonsense that they are. God gave us a mind. He gave us faculties. He gave us, if we will exercise them, Hebrews 5, if we will exercise them, senses, we can discern good from evil. The war is upon us. What the next battle may be will vary. What they may come up with next may vary. What shots they may fire in whatever form they are. But the war is here. Not just in the Western culture. It's in Europe. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. They have their strategies because they know how things are. They know what reality is. The first thing that needs to be done is people need to judge reality for what it is and then act accordingly. Always trusting God, always seeking God's face, always standing for the truth of the word. And we can only do that if we read it, not just the last quarter of the book, but all the scriptures that were given to us for learning, for instruction, for direction in righteousness and the right way of thinking. We've got to get in God's word. We have got to quit sugarcoating things see it for what it is we need to call it for what it is and if we don't this war like has happened up until this point is simply going to be forfeited it's going to be won without any kind of fight verbally or otherwise